Hello everyone, I warmly welcome you to the second lecture of the series. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to start off uh, discussing and helping you to set up your uh, Python development environment which includes uh, setting up your editor, uh, installing important Python packages uh, and of course installing TensorFlow. Followed by, I am going to uh, discuss something about uh, virtual machines and uh, some tips on it. So, let's get started. For those of you who are new to Python, uh, so that I would uh, highly recommend that create a software package called Anaconda by Continuum Analytics. So, you can download your Anaconda package from the site. Uh, you can see it has more than 720 packages bundled with the software and uh, you can install for your version be careful for which python version you are using and which os we have a graphical installer over here for mac os which is uh, good and uh, so those of you who are using Linux, uh, it is 64 bit or 13 Python 2.7 3.5. So a lot of options over here. You can also install it using command line tools. And uh, in this page, you can see a list of important uh, uh, packages that come with your Anaconda. So some of the notable things which you can see are. Yeah, IPython. IPython is a very important package for you. And Matplotlib for plotting. And NumPy for playing with arrays. This is the Anaconda software. You can find all the installed applications here. The first two applications are based on IPython. This one is based on IPython for Qt console this uh, application for web browser and uh, this is spider the most important in this software package uh, spider stands for scientific python development environment it's uh, basically a python id a very powerful id you would be using this now let me give you a quick intro of this this is the id and uh, this uh, particular section is your editor. I'll write your code over here. And uh, here you have your IPython console. So just for trial, you can <laughs> try some one plus one to uh, try to import some package. I'm gonna import uh, numerical Python, NumPy. And there you go, it's imported in your IPython console. Now uh, let's go into the python terminal so I'm gonna here just for trials like uh, import tensorflow but don't worry I'm gonna after this I'm gonna give you uh, discuss how to install tensorflow and the working environment alright it's important so here this is the play button to run your scripts python scripts and uh, for a new file the installation of tensorflow is quite straightforward uh, you just have to install pip first and uh, once you install pip uh, just install tensorflow and uh, depending on your OS you install whichever you want and uh, it has a separate GPU installation so just uh, accordingly there are other methods for installation however I recommend you to use pip so now since we are using anaconda environment installation so you have to create a conda environment every time uh, you run your uh, code python code tensorflow code basically so after you run your code you have to deactivate it activate and deactivate I would like to give you a tip here and uh, also a warning so uh, even if you are not creating a 
Conda environment and uh, try to run in your uh, script from spider, it will still work, but at times it will give you an error. Now remember when you, uh, you uh, find an error in uh, while running your code, so just quickly uh, come to your terminal, built in terminal, and run your code so it should work properly. Now let's talk about virtual machines. What are virtual machines? Virtual machines are servers on the cloud. You will be able to uh, take the advantage of high end uh, physical hardware and uh, in order to basically deep learning algorithms are computationally intensive and uh, you have uh, millions of connections in your deep learning algorithms and uh, the data set is huge. So the best way to uh, run your code without uh, damaging your uh, PC is to run your code in the cloud. Uh, the, it also saves a lot of time. So compared uh, to a CPU, uh, virtual machine is uh, much faster because of uh, high-end uh, hardware. And uh, the other option is to use uh, good GPU and it also is uh, considerably uh, it takes considerably less time in comparison to a cpu so uh, these are two options and uh, now currently all the big uh, software companies are providing uh, virtual machines uh, they have some very good packages uh, google cloud platform the amazon web services aws Microsoft Azure, VMware are all some of the popular uh, cloud computing resources. Currently all these companies are giving some promotional offer. Google is uh, giving uh, $300 to a credit and uh, similarly Microsoft $200 credit. Uh, Amazon is the free version or the trial version is somewhat slightly different you have a complete command over it for one year but the hardware is quite limited in the free version uh, so vmware is also giving a 30-day free trial for its uh, workstation pro uh, different uh, cloud uh, platforms have different advantages uh, I, but uh, i would uh, recommend you to use uh, gcp google's cloud platform because uh, now they are integrating TensorFlow in the uh, online platform and uh, uh, recently they announced a TPU, Tensor Processing Unit, uh, which they claim to be uh, very powerful for machine learning algorithms. But uh, it's a good uh, thing to explore different uh, cloud services and uh, whichever suits your budget. I hope uh, you guys have uh, installed and set up your development environment without any problem. Uh, if you have uh, encountered some error or anything, please uh, write uh, below in the comment section or contact me. And uh, if you want uh, more help in setting up your virtual machines, uh, please feel to uh, hit me a mail. Okay, in the next lecture, I'm going to I'll give you a quick intro about Python. So, see you guys there. Thank you.